Hey, kick seven, five, like, comment, and subscribe. And it's been awesome. We've just passed 200 subscribers. So thank you to each and every one of you. If you already subscribed, we have a Facebook page too. If you could jump on there, hit that like button on the Facebook page, kick seven, five, all one word. That'd be great. If you're new to the channel, hey, exciting things coming. So make sure you jump down, hit that subscribe button. Hit that um, bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. I'm going to be vlogging Sneaker Bash, which is a local Melbourne event that should be awesome and hooking up with some other shoe tubers, so you don't want to miss out on that. So let's get on with this review. So let's get into the Air Max 95 Quick Strike on Foot Review. So here's our style code. Of course the shoe was originally designed by Christian Tressa, who's also famous for designing the Mercurial Soccer Cleat. So he came over from Reebok and yeah, I think designed football boots originally, but ended up designing the Air Max 97. So the first um, official launch colorway was the Silver Bullet, which we all pretty much know by now if we we're a sneakerhead. And that original design was actually inspired by mountain bikes. So the silver titanium alloy finishes of mountain bikes actually inspired that first colorway, not the Japanese Bullet Train. Whether it was a story or a later inspiration in the development of the shoe, I don't know. But yeah, you can see it looks like a Japanese bullet train anyway. And that's where that came around. It was more to sell the design rather than the original design inspiration. So this one here is the Nike Air Max Quick Strike in black varsity red. Why they don't mention the gold? Because there's also a silver version of the shoe so yeah don't know why that is we have a hit of varsity red on the sole there with the gold varsity red branding of the nike contrasting black to the white outsole and also we have varsity red in there painting on this particular model is a little bit um sloppy you'll see there but nothing you'll notice unless you're really up close so of course we've got the foam, and again the painting on the foam is not quite up to par Nike. If you could have nailed that, it would have been better. Little tiny bits of glue showing, but again, you'd have to be up close like that to notice. When you're back here, you're not going to notice, as is with the stitching. Now, one thing I would have liked to see on this was probably genuine leather and not synthetic leather, but it is what it is, so we get that gold leather around the mudguard area. Of course your varsity red swoosh repeated both sides. Now we have the 3M sort of stripes or waves if you call it and those were originally inspired by um, raindrops hitting puddles and the ripples and the waves that water pattern that water makes and that's where that design inspiration came from and of course we have the hidden laces lacing system we also have a gold 3m detailing and our nike varsity red branding in gold and red we have the varsity red air max branding with gold trim to highlight it at the back there so there's not really much else I can say other than the sizing. Sizing, go true to size in these I believe. Um, if you're a 
wide footer. You might need to go up half a size, you might need to go up a size, but you can find these everywhere. The Air Max 97, there's a lot of different colorways. Just go to your local shoe store um, and try them on. My kind of advice is you should be right going true to size, but try them on anyway, in my opinion, because they're readily available and you'll be able to try the shoe on. So, with that being said, remember, shine like a diamond, crease those sneaks, let's go to this on foot. Oh, and always remember, always use protection. Oh, I didn't even push record anyway.